Understanding the phrase, feeling sluggish. Hello everyone, welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a common English phrase, feeling sluggish. This phrase is often used in everyday conversation, and understanding its meaning and usage can really enhance your English skills. So, let's dive in and uncover what it means to feel sluggish. Feeling sluggish is an idiomatic expression in English. When someone says they are feeling sluggish, they mean they are experiencing a sense of tiredness, slowness, or lack of energy. This feeling is often compared to how a slug moves, slowly and with little energy. It's important to understand that this phrase is usually used to describe a temporary state, not a permanent condition. This phrase can be used in various contexts. For example, 1. Physical tiredness. After a long day at work or a strenuous workout, one might say, I'm feeling sluggish. 2. Mental fatigue. During stressful periods or after long hours of study, you might hear someone say, my brain feels sluggish. 3. General lethargy. On a lazy Sunday afternoon, someone might comment, I'm feeling a bit sluggish today. Understanding the context helps in comprehending the exact meaning behind the phrase in different situations. To help you grasp this phrase better, let's look at some example sentences. After that heavy lunch, I'm feeling really sluggish. Lack of sleep always leaves me feeling sluggish the next day. Try some exercise to overcome your sluggish feeling. Notice how the phrase is adaptable to various situations, indicating a temporary state of reduced energy or alertness. It's useful to know some synonyms, which can enhance your vocabulary. Lethargic, sluggardly, listless, lackadaisical, unenergetic. Using these synonyms can add variety to your speech or writing. And that's a wrap on feeling sluggish. Now you know how to use this phrase in different contexts and can identify it in conversations. Remember, learning such idiomatic expressions is a fantastic way to sound more natural in English. We hope this video has been helpful, and we look forward to bringing you more useful English learning content. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.